today we're here at the CCA yes, workbench, we like we are every week, but yes. it's got a little aroma. Well, they're not, it's not really a bad aroma because these are fresh ballyhoo, as we just ascertained with my teeth. They're very delicious. <laughs> a little crunchy, a little crunchy. Well, what we got here is we got, got three different uh, ways to do a circle hook ballyhoo, and we're, we're fishing for sailfish. We want to use a circle hook because we want to let them go after we catch them. And a circle hook catches right in the corner, catches them right in the corner of their jaw, doesn't catch them in the guts or their gills very often. So it's a good way to, to do it. And plus, you can make them swim pretty good if you know what you're doing. Whenever you're rigging any bait like this to swim, you want to make sure that you're pulling from as far forward as you can. If, you're, if your pulling point is anywhere, you know, back on the bait, that's what makes it do that loop in the Get spin. The spin. Yeah, and you don't want it to spin, you want him to swim. I don't even care if he falls over on his side a little bit, Yeah. you know, because that's flashing that white to the bottom. But if he starts to do the looping and the spinning, that's not what we want. We got three different styles here. This is called the X on the head, and it's it's You're done. You're gonna show us how to yep, do I'm that. Yeah, I'm gonna show you how to do that one. That's done with just rigging floss alone and okay. like three or four knots. And then, and then this. Then that's the swivel method, and it, you use a piece of copper, one single piece of copper wire, mount it on a swivel, and oh. then you and then you wrap it all back oh. through oh. and and do his gills and and whatnot, go around his collar, which I'm gonna show you with the with the floss way. Uh -huh. And then this is a way that a lot of the guys are using too. Uh, a lot of the pro fellas are using the little tiny O-rings, the little tiny O-ring, yeah, a little O-ring on the uh, on the ballyhoo. And that, what the what all these methods do is let the circle hook pivot and do its job. Right. Because once that fish gets swallowed, we want it to come tight, real slow, and come pulling right out to the corner of his jaw. All right. So let's show us how this works, Dave. All right. What you're going to do is you're going to get a like an 18-inch piece of. Uh, uh, floss, rigging floss. This is 50 pound rigging floss. All right, now cheat to that okay, camera I'll cheat there over for there. me. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put your, uh, this size oh, weight boy. that you want oh, on boy. here. I shouldn't have pulled it out, huh? Can somebody give a hit? Man, I got another one right here. Oh, Look at that. There we go. So anyway, you put your weight on there to make a little collar. We and break you, the bill off? Yeah, we're gonna do that in a minute. Okay. Make sure, and all your eyeballs are out too. You notice Hold all these slow, have, easy. all these have the eyeballs out and we pull the eyeballs out so when this thing's trolling during the day those eyeballs don't puff out so you push the weight up, up underneath push the, his push the chin up between the, the two gills right got it all right put now the what? two tag ends over the top like that right and make an overhand knot to close his mouth and get tight overhand knot yeah. and go through tighten it down oh i like it Right. I like it. Then we go through the eyeballs. Uh huh. Opposite sides. Pull it. And then that one, this go is why the they call side. it the X on the head. It now you're creating X. the X. Correct. I like it. And then we put another one on the bottom down here. Another one of those overhand knots. So is that. Oh, okay. Nice. Go slow, Dave. You're going so fast, we can't keep up. And there you go. And it leaves that little X. Right. on the head right, right here the x now you trim this stuff on the bottom and you can actually if you want to you can get fancy and you can wrap those those other two tag ends again across the back a little bit further and then tie it off on the bottom mm -hmm. this is going to be busted off you always push, bust your bill off because if that bill is sticking out here again that's another thing that gets in the way and it'll make him flip and then flip. that just goes underneath right what you'll have what you'll have is you'll have like a 80 pound or a 60 pound monofilament snelled to this hook. So you have a piece of suffix fluorocarbon, right. 60 right. or 80, w going onto your VMC snelled, circle hook. Snelled onto your circle hook. And you'll have all these laying in your box. So whenever you lose a bait, you just pull the new bait out. If your leader is still good and not all chewed up, you can just slide this underneath that X, to get that point underneath the X, right, and pops it out. And then it pulls from that front. Nice. So sailfish comes up and eats this. As soon as he comes and eats We're it, dropping back. the first thing you do is go into free spool. How long? Five seconds. Five long seconds. Count. You know, if there's a bunch of them back there, you might not have to do it. If the fish starts jumping, you lock it up immediately. Let's start going. Yeah. And otherwise, you let him eat for four or five seconds, push it up, and then start to reel real slow until it comes tight and starts pulling drag. And then you lift the rod tip just a little bit. You don't want to jerk with a circle hook. And he'll hook himself. Thank you so much.